In this video I'll be covering how to do grain to grain inoculation inside of a still air box. Grain to grain inoculation is probably the best way to expand spawn quickly and efficiently. By transferring colonized grain to sterile grains you can rapidly produce lots of mycelium for mushroom cultivation. First we're going to prepare the still air box by wiping it down with soapy water Next, wipe down all utensils and jars with 70% alcohol solution and then seal the still air box. You want to wipe your hands down with the 70% alcohol solution before you start working inside the still air box. And it's probably a good idea to allow your hands to dry and the alcohol on the outside of the jars to dry before you start picking up jars. Remove the tin foil from the lids of all the jars and then just place them off to the side so that they're not in your way. So this is the donor jar, it doesn't look like it's got grain spawn in it because it's had a shake and a breakup. Normally you can't see the grain spawn after you've done a shake, but if we have a look at this other jar, which was way over colonised, you can see the turkey tail, which the grain spawn is, had started to create a stipe where the mushroom was fruiting in the jar. I'm just getting the grain spawn nice and loose here so it's easy to pour. Another thing you want to think about is organising your still air box so that you are comfortable. It was 25 degrees in here and for some reason I felt very claustrophobic so I took a few minutes to get used to being in there. I, it didn't help, it was way too hot in the room, but I kind of organised things in a way so that I feel like I can move freely around the still air box without feeling as claustrophobic because when you start to feel uncomfortable, you start making mistakes such as knocking jaws over, dropping lids, missing the jaws. So it's just important to get organised and comfortable before you open any lids and start any inoculation. I start loosening the lids one by one. It's better to do the back lids first and then the front lids afterwards. I've done it the wrong way around here. The reason you want to do the back ones first is, and you'll see in a moment, you start leaning over the jaws. If you knock a jaw over when the lid is loose, all the grains are going to go everywhere. But if you do it from the back to the front, if you knock the jaw in front over, the lid's on. It doesn't matter. I'm just doing one last check here before inoculation and I don't want to start picking that jar up while my hands were soaked in alcohol. We're going to take the donor jar and we're going to remove the lid we're going to place the lid on top of one of the other lids and then straight away lift the other lid and pour the grain, put the lid back on, move on to the next jar, lift the lid, pour the grain, put the lid back on and you're just going to move through all of the jars repeating that process. Thank you. 
Finally, remove any stray grains from the top of the jars, tighten your jars up and you are finished. Leave them to incubate and you'll have plenty of spawn jars in about 7 to 10 days. If you want to see more videos like this and continue learning, then like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.